Welcome back everybody to Amateur Not Pro and today I'm going to be doing a different video than my usual videos in honor of my niece's fifth birthday I'm going to be drawing a kid cartoon character. This one is from a show called Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat something. I don't really know the name of it I just have a picture of it and I'm drawing it for her birthday so let's go ahead and get started with the actual drawing. So like all my drawings I start off with a basic sketch. Um, face, hair, body, that type of detail, and I start to think about what I'm going to do with the background. For this one, I'm going to be doing a blue and pink back, I'm sorry, a purple and pink background and trying to blend it a little bit, just make it real girly, real nice, something that a five-year-old would definitely like and would think is pretty. So now that the actual sketch is done, I do the background. The background is pretty simple, I just put a lot of pink paint that I made from primary colors red and I use white mix it together to my to make my own version of pink and a regular purple that was already mixed for me I ended up just putting a bunch of pink on it and purple and just using water to try to blend it as best I can I'm not really good at blending this is probably the first time I've ever really done it but it turned out pretty good uh, especially for a five-year-old birthday party gift it turned out pretty decent most little girls like pink and purple so I thought it would look Pretty cool for her. Once I blended the pink and purple to look pretty decent, I got started on the actual clothes. I didn't want to go too crazy with this painting. I just wanted to use as basic, as many basic colors as I could. So I used blue with the hair. I didn't try to make it look like actual hair and put some of the sort of like little swipes with the paintbrush to make it seem realistic or anything like that. This is mainly just my interpretation of what this character should look like. In the show, it is an animated show. So it's more bubbly, it's more 3D. I decided to try to make it as 2D and flat as possible, especially with the hair. So it's basically all blue. I'm going to do a blue outline with Sharpie later on as well. Now that I'm done with the hair and I put an extra blue coat on it so it could look a little bit shinier and a little bit bluer, I go ahead and finish off the mask doing the same thing I did with the actual shirt and the clothing. Basically it's all red with a bunch of black polka dots around. I'm probably going to end up using Sharpie for the eyes instead of paint since I don't, since I don't have a really tiny paintbrush that's sturdy enough to do like really decent detailed eyes and everything like that. So I just use Sharpie at the end. For the eyes, I basically just used the blue that I used for the hair, mixed in with a little bit of white to create some kind of tur turquoise type of color. And uh, later on, I'm going to be adding basically the same blue that I did for the hair to make a shadow on top of the eyelid. And a white dot of paint just to make it look a little nicer. We always have some kind of light or something projecting from our eyes. I'm not going to go with too much detail with this because this is supposed to be a 2D flat drawing. And it's not supposed to look that realistic. It's supposed to look like it's exactly what it is, 
a cartoon character from Disney. Once I'm done with the actual clothes, hair, and the mask, I get started on the actual skin color. For this, I just use a basic tan, sort of yellowish color. Um, I'm not going to go too much into detail with this or provide too much shading or anything like that. Because really, this one shouldn't have shading. It's just a regular cartoon character. Oh, so it's supposed to be as flat as possible. Once that's all done, I go in with the pinkish red Sharpie and just start highlighting the face so you can tell the difference between the face and the hair. Since I'm not the best painter, I always do this with all my paintings. I go in with the Sharpie to try to get the fine details in. Um, shape of the face, nose, mouth, that type of thing. I also went with the blue Sharpie for the outline of the hair and a red Sharpie for the outline of the body. So just to try to make it match as best I can and try to get the shape a lot better. Now that most of the drawing is actually done, I go in and try to make it look as clean as possible. So I add a little white at the outline to try to get rid of the extra paint and some of the markings from the graphite pencil I use. I didn't know that they would, the graphite would stick out so much on this canvas. So I didn't really put that into consideration. So now I got to make sure that all of it disappears. So I use as much white paint as I can, especially for the outline. I want there to be a white outline between the background and her. I probably could have just shaded it into her body, but I didn't want to do that. I want to make this sort of stand out a little bit more. I might even add a glitter later on. I think five of my five-year-old niece would really love that. But for now, I'm just going to stick with the drawing for this video in the painting. I go in one more time with the peach sharpie just to make sure that the nose and the mouth are extremely clean and detailed, or at least neat as possible. Since I did leave a little extra paint on it to dry for a couple of minutes before I did this, actually a couple hours to make sure that the Sharpie wouldn't catch any paint. With my finishing touches, I think it looks pretty good. I did do a little shading with the body, but overall it came out great. I hope she likes it. Let me know if you like it and thank you guys for watching.